All right, to continue on talking about bits, um, mainly B3 bits and how they can be used, I had this circuit or this system running and I thought it was kind of cool and I just wanted to show it to you. Um, there's a lot of things on this uh, system that you've never worked with, such as over here on our right side, we have counters. These are count up and count downs. And then we have a timer over here, but that's, and then there's also a reset right here. But that is not the most important thing and the thing we're gonna talk about, we are gonna talk about the, how the B3 bits are used in this program. If you look over here at our top rung, we have our typical motor control, let's call it, or a latching circuit. So we press the start button, the B3 bit gets turned on over here, latches itself on. Now I've used that same B3 bit and every rung all the way down this whole program, okay? So what, it, what it's saying is, if this B3 bit is not energized here on this top rung, none of these uh, rungs can become true ever. So even if I, so right now, like if I look at our limit switch one, let's go ahead and see limit switch one clicks on, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna give it a path of true over to my counter. You can notice it's not counting up, okay? I don't wanna get too deep into counters here, but if I press the start button, we can see that all of a sudden, all of these B3 bits become green, okay? So that means every rung is now enabled. So now when I hit my limit up, you can notice I'm counting in my counter, okay? I'm gonna show you guys these a little bit later, um, in a, like I think uh, two more modules or something. But what I really want you to take away from this video is how we can use a B3 bit to create conditions so that other rungs cannot be true unless a system is running, okay? so. If I, at any point, I give you an activity where I'm like, make sure that this will not work if it's not turned on. This is how you would do it, okay? This is how you would do that. So anytime, like I said, I say, hey, don't, you know, because a, a lot of times we, we have a system and we don't want the limit switches to be sitting there counting, right? We want them to, um, we want them to not be able to be used when the system's turned off. And that would be what this, this system would be set up to do, okay? So, sorry, kind of getting a little bit wordy here, but just, that's the takeaway. So, go ahead and move on, good luck.